Hello, and welcome to Morfolio Board. Although the images tell the story of your interior design mood boards, adding relevant titles, captions, and labels is extremely important to help direct your audience and style your board. In Morfolio Board, you can edit the font, color, size, kerning, and line spacing to get your text looking just the way you want it to. Let's get started. We're starting here with this really beautiful material board, which is great, but it's missing a bit of direction and that's because it doesn't have any text on it yet. So what we're going to do is add a title, labels to the different pieces on the board, and then add some notes down at the bottom to help describe the different materials that are laid out. Let's start out by adding a title. I'll zoom into the top and over here is where I can add a new text box. Tap this button, you can see a text box appears and I can start typing and adding my title. Now I want to adjust the font to make it fit the mood of this board a little bit. Maybe go for a serif font. So I'll scroll over to Optima, pick the regular, that looks pretty good. But you can see when I adjusted the font, I also lost my single line. So all I have to do is pull this blue dot to extend the text box. I can adjust the size of the font as well. So I will bump that up to 36 to make it more prominent. If I wanted to, I could change the color here. I can adjust the bold, italics, underline, or strike out. I can also change the justification, center, left, or right. I can adjust the line spacing, um, and we'll look at that in a second with a different set of text. And I can also adjust the kerning. So if I wanna space this out a little bit, or maybe Pull it in a little tighter. I can do that and get the text exactly how I want it. Add it to my page and when I'm done, just hit the done button. And now I have added this title to this board. The next thing that I wanna do is add some labels to these different material samples across this board. So I'll zoom in and again, hit the text button. This time I will type out my label, material one, extend my box. This is way too big of a font for this piece here though, so I'm gonna drop it down to 16. I'm also going to adjust the font so it's a little different than the title. I'll pick another favorite serif font, Bodini, and I'm gonna make this one bold though too, so I'll select the bold option. And in this case, I want to justify this to the left so I know where it's going. So I'm gonna move it over into this corner and instead of a straight black color, I want to make it mix with the material palette a little bit more. So I'm going to select the color here, and then you'll see there's an eyedropper. And if I tap that, I can actually pick any color on my board. So now I can get a really dark brown instead of a solid black and have that be my color. Now I have a whole bunch of materials on this board, so I want to keep adding labels to them. And instead of creating a new text box and restarting every time, I can actually just go here, hit duplicate, and now I've created a duplicate of that label. And the other way that I can go back and edit this now is down here is an edit text button. And if I tap on that, I can just get right back into my text box, change this to material two. And this time I'm going to grab a light color from one of the lighter materials to make that contrast for this label. And now I can go ahead and add the rest of my labels. So you can see here, I have added all of the material labels in and they're looking really great and match the palette of this material board. If you're enjoying this video so far, we'd really appreciate your support. All you have to do is take a second to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to never miss a new tutorial about Morfolio board. The last thing that I want to do is to add some notes to this material board to help describe what each of these materials are on this board. I have some white space down here. So again, what I can do is hit this text box. I can move this down to the bottom here and locate it where I want to. And I can start to type out and fill out my notes. I've gone ahead and filled out the descriptions and notes for these materials. And you'll notice on this last line of text, the style from the label carried over into my note and I actually want it to be different. With Morfolio Board 5.0, you can actually go in, select that part of the text, 
And now I can change just that part of the font, make this a venir, can go in and then make it italic so it matches the rest of the notes. And just like that, I have been able to edit and modify that specific line of text. The last thing that you can do with text boxes like this is adjust your line spacing. So if I wanted to space these out a little bit more than what they are, just give them a little bit more breathing room, I can do that by adjusting my line spacing and make this really clean and beautiful just the way that I want it. Hit done, and now I've added my notes. You can see how these incredible text tools transform this beautiful collage into an informative board with a title, labels, and notes. Editing text has never been easier. You can now adjust the font, color, justification, kerning, and line spacing of entire text boxes as well as selected lines or words. We hope you've enjoyed learning about these new text features and we can't wait to see what you make with them. When you share your boards, be sure to tag Morfolio Board so we can find your work and feature it. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other how-to videos.